Hello, my name is Abhay Mohan and I am the representative of Idea Usher. In this video, we will see how our e-learning app developed by our team for our esteemed client works. So, what exactly is an e-learning app? E-learning is a modern educational solution that utilizes digital technologies and devices to deliver interactive and engaging educational content. E-learning apps are mobile applications specifically designed to facilitate the acquisition of knowledge and skills by offering a wide range of subjects, topics, and courses. The global e-learning market size was valued at over $200 billion in 2022 and is projected to reach over $602 billion by 2030, with a compound annual growth rate of 17.2%. It is expected to reach 14.1 billion US dollars by 2028, exhibiting a growth rate of 13.7% during 2023 to 2028. So let's get started. When the user first downloads the app, they'll be taken to the login screen and enter their details here and log in. In case they've forgotten their password, they can click here. They'll be asked to enter their email address, hit continue, and then they'll be asked to change their password. After changing their password, they can log in again. If the user does not have an existing account, they can click here. To create an account, they'll have to enter their email address, password, or sign in through Apple, Facebook. After they sign up, they'll be sent a verification link to their email. Get the link and hit verify. Now their account is ready and they can log in. Once they log in, they'll be taken to the home screen. In the home screen, the user can see their picture, their name, the notification bell, a search function, the categories of courses available, the recommended courses, the top mentors of the app, the free courses, and finally the featured courses. So, if the user wanted to start searching for courses, they can use the search function. They can type in what they're looking for here, and they can also go to the filter option, where they can more fine-tune their search based on price, level, ratings, etc. They can also search based on categories. If they wish to see all of them, they can click here. Then they can pick according to the category of their interest. Users can also browse through the recommended courses by clicking here. If the user finds a course that they're interested in, just click on it and they'll be taken to a brief summary of that course. Here they can see the name of the course, its rating and reviews, and four tabs, namely description, lessons, instructor, and discussions. In description, they can see what the course has to offer. There will be the name of the instructor, hours of video available, downloadable resources, and a certificate of completion and the difficulty level of the course, followed by a brief description about the course itself. In the Lessons tab, the user can see the number of lessons available. In the Instructor tab, they can see more details about their instructor, their name, their picture, instructor ratings, reviews, the number of students that they have, and the number of courses that they spearhead. You can also see a brief description about the instructor themselves. The user can also see courses similar to this one that they have chosen. And if they keep scrolling down, they can see further reviews about the instructor. There is also a frequently asked questions section in the instructor page. In the discussions tab, the user can see ongoing discussions being conducted by other users who have used the course. Once the user is satisfied with what the course has to offer, they can click Enroll. Here they'll be asked to choose a payment plan. The plans offered for this course are one-time purchase, monthly plan, and yearly plan. The user can also choose to avail discounts or coupons over here. After they've chosen, hit Continue, and they'll be taken to the checkout page. When the user is ready, they can hit Pay Now. They'll be taken to the Payment Methods page where they can choose a suitable payment method. They can choose between their various credit and debit cards or choose to add a new card. Or they can choose one among various online payment methods such as Apple Pay or PayPal. Once they've chosen, hit Confirm. And the user has successfully enrolled for the course. After they've enrolled, hit View Course. The user will be taken to the My Courses page where they can see all the courses that they have purchased. When the user is ready to begin a course, they can click on Start. The user will be taken to the course 
where they can see four tabs, course content, discussion, quiz, and reviews. In the course content tab, the user can choose between the available lessons. When they have chosen their lesson, they can see a brief description about the lesson, the resources pertaining to this lesson, and any quizzes that the instructor has prepared for them regarding this lesson. In the discussion tab, they can see the various discussions being conducted by other users who have purchased this course. Now the user will be able to view the entire discussion and make their own replies if they so wish. In the quiz tab, the user can see all the quizzes pertaining to this course. They can also view the certificate of completion, which they may earn after they've completed all the quizzes regarding this course. Finally, there's the reviews tab about the course itself, where they can choose to rate it themselves over here. If they scroll down, they can see further detailed reviews regarding this course and they can also head to the Frequently Asked Questions section over here. Once the user is finished with this course, they can click on the three dots here to archive it. In the My Courses section, they can see all their in-progress courses, completed courses, and the courses they have archived. In the Favorites page, the user can see all the courses that they have chosen to favorite. They can also choose to favorite specific lessons from specific courses. In the Profile page, the user can see their profile details, their picture, their name, and their email address. They can choose to edit those details over here. If the user wishes to change their password, they can do so here. The user can change their app preferences here. Within App Preferences, they can change course category over here. Here, the user can filter out the categories that they do not wish to see or wish to see more of. If the user wishes to view or change their subscription plan, they can do so here. The user can view all the achievements that they've earned for completing courses or lessons or quizzes over here. The user can also view all the certificates that they've earned in the Certificates tab. If the user wishes to change the language of the app, they can do so here. And if the user has any questions regarding the app, they can go to the Help Center, where if they're facing any problems, they can place their queries in the search function. They can also look at other popular questions here. If they wish to chat directly with an expert, they can do so here or email them here. Finally, once the user is finished with the app, they can log out here. And there you have it. Now you know how our course learning app works. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you want to find out more or want your own tech solution developed by us, feel free to contact us. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.